And now I want to introduce our consumer spotlight tonight. He's Ed Osborne. He's an NIASE certified auto mechanic, and he's Ford Mercury factory trained with 12 years of experience. Now he specializes in foreign and domestic cars. And he's here tonight to tell us what we can do to get our cars ready for winter to help us avoid those wintertime problems. Ed Osborne, pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Ed, where is Osborne's Auto Repair Shop located? It's located at 1121 French Street, adjacent to the post office and right across the street from Geno's. Uh -huh. And what are your hours, Ed? My hours are 7.30 to 5.30. Five days a week? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ed, now what can a car owner do to get ready for winter? Bob, the first and most important thing to do is to check his antifreeze. A low protection on antifreeze could result in something as serious as a cracked engine block, a problem that no one wants to contend with. Mm -hmm. uh, you should check all of his heater hoses, radiator hoses, tighten them down. You should check his belts, make sure they're tight. Uh, there's a series of things that you should go over on the engine. Uh, he should, uh, I'm nervous. Uh -huh. <laughs> and what's the most serious problems that people have with their car? The most serious problem that people have with their car in the wintertime is battery. They mm -hmm. never check the battery water because of self-service gas stations now. We don't get the battery water tested and no battery water is going to result in a dead battery. Mm -hmm. And it's a good idea to check your batteries. Mm -hmm. uh, automatic transmission is another thing that is never checked. People tend to put it off. It's a, a transmission has to be serviced the same as oil, but not quite as often. Mm -hmm. uh, got fluid, has to be serviced. I know, I don't know anything about a car, and uh, it, these are important tips that we should uh, follow up on. You know, it used to be that, that I heard you had to use distilled water. Is that still true in a no, battery? Distilled water hasn't been a necess necessity for 10 years now. Uh, they use different plates in the batteries, and just regular tap water is all you really need. Mm -hmm. So keep that battery full of water. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a necessity. Now, oh, is there a certain brand of automatic transmission fluid that you ought to use? Automatic transmission fluid comes in three types. It, it comes in F, type F, CJ, and a Dextrin. Mm -hmm. The transmission dipstick will always tell you which type is preferred for your individual transmission, whichever hmm. type your car is equipped with. Now, why should a, a person take their car to a repair shop for winterization? The biggest thing is they don't want to break down in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Cold weather is hard on auto, automobiles. Uh, automobiles today are equipped with EEC systems, electronic ignition systems, emission control systems that are as complicated to understand as they are to repair. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that you're certified by NIASE. What exactly is this certification entail? It stands for the National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence. Uh, it's a voluntary certification. It takes two years on-the-job experience to qualify for the certification. Uh, it's not, it's not an easy test to pass. Your average service station attendant wouldn't have a chance with the test. Mm -hmm. uh, How many tests are there exactly? It's broken down into eight categories. Automatic transmission, manual transmission, engine repair, engine tune-up, brakes, front end alignment, heating and air conditioning, and electrical systems. And how many of those eight certifications do you have? I've taken five tests and passed all five. Uh, I have elect electrical systems, engine repair, engine tune-up, brakes, and automatic transmission. Mm -hmm. You intend to get the others? Oh yes, in the spring. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, can you give us some of your automotive background, Ed? I worked nine years for an individual repair shop, independent, uh, specializing in foreign and domestic cars, and I went from there to a uh, Lincoln Mercury dealer, where I worked three years, was enrolled in a factory training program through Ford, and decided to go on my own. Mm -hmm. Now, Ed, your shop is located right downtown, right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It's located um, on French Street, is that correct? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Across from Geno's. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, people who work downtown could just leave their car down there during the day while they're working and pick yes. it up at the end of the day. Yes, that's mm -hmm. no problem. Now, you have a wintertime uh, special tune-up, is that correct? Yes, well, I consider it a grand opening special for my new customers. It includes uh, plugs, air filter, fuel filter, five quarts of oil, and a complete lubrication. I'll check the car over, check brakes, electrical system, charging system, get the car ready for winter. Mm -hmm. Well, Ed was very uh, kind of you to provide us for a gift certificate for a uh, free tune-up on tonight's show. Thank you. Uh -huh. Now, Ed, um, again, uh, your hours are 7.30 to 5? Yes, sir. Five days a week? Yes. Sir. And I invite all you viewers to go to Edward Osborne at Osborne's Auto Repair. It's located downtown, and um, I've known Ed for quite some time, and uh, not only is he a good friend of mine, but he's a 
he's an honest repairman. Uh, he's a good repairman. He's he's inexpensive, and repairmen today uh, they can have all those qualities. They're a rare breed, and and uh, it's good to have you on the show, Ed. Thank you very much.